Hi class, this is Jerry Jankowski, your instructor. What I'm going to do is I see some of you are sending in emails and are still having some issues, uh, problems with putting your label that you, your beer label that you did in Adobe Illustrator on to a mock-up of a beer bottle uh, that's in Photoshop. So I'm going to show you a real abbreviated version. Basically, I'm not giving you any options. I'm going to show you a very straightforward um, version, okay, on how to do this, all right? So the steps I've eliminated and made this just as simple as I possibly could, all right? Once again, I'm on a Mac, so command on a Mac is control on a PC, option is Alt. Option is Alt on PC, okay? So here we go. Uh, here is my label that I did, a Blue Buck Ale, and I'm going to select this. First of all, what I'm going to do is, I've already done this, but what you should do is take a marquee and draw it over the entire thing so everything is selected, okay? Then you go up to Object, and then you group it. I've already grouped it, so this is grayed out. So, uh, but you want to group it just so stuff doesn't fall off. With Adobe Illustrator, you tend to have a lot of parts. So what you want to do is just make sure everything is grouped. All right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is click on it again. Everything is now selected because it's grouped. I'm going to do Command C. C as in Carol, and that's going to copy. Okay. Now, right behind it, I have my Photoshop. Now, I'm going to give you this beer bottle, too. I took off, there, there was a black label on here. I took that off and um, smoothed it out, so you're going to place your label right on top of here. Okay. So, let's go up here and choose the Move tool. All right. And I am now going to do Command V, as in Victor. What I'm importing is my Blue Buck Ale label, okay? So paste as. Suggest pixels. I would go with the second one. Smart object is more if you are uh, archiving what you are bringing in, keeping it into a, a separate folder. Okay, we're not really doing that. So pick, click on pixels, all right? Don't forget this. You've got to do one of these. So click on pixels and do OK. There it is. It's that easy. Now in Adobe Illustrator, you would hold your shift key, go to one of these uh, corners, and pull it in. Holding the shift key keeps it constrained so it doesn't get distorted. OK, we're in Photoshop, so a lot of things are just a little different. In Photoshop, go to a corner, click on it, Hold your mouse down and pull it into the center. Don't hold the shift key down. You don't have to. Okay, so I'm pulling, pulling, pulling. What I want to do is get this label the same width as this. Okay, I'm guessing that's about it. I'm eyeballing it. Let's w move it over here. Oh, it could be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to click on the a corner again. Make it just a little bit bigger. Okay. And now, uh, don't uh, deselect it. Uh, decide where you want it on the bottle. Are you going to have it low? That actually doesn't look good. Middle, I would say middle high. Middle, middle high usually looks the best, like that. Okay? So now let's deselect it. Okay? I just clicked on the background, and there it is. I clicked again. All right? All right. We're almost done. Let's click on it again. Go up to Edit. Go to Transform. And let's go to Warp. OK? Edit, Transform, Warp. All right. Let's make this larger. OK. 
Now I deselect it. Okay, let's get that move tool again. It's selected. Edit. Transform. Warp. Notice there's no keyboard uh, commands for this, unfortunately. So you got to do that edit tra uh, transform warp. Okay. Now, this has those handles that we saw in Adobe Illustrator. So get used to them uh, because you're going to see them in other applications of Adobe. Okay. The top isn't too bad. I but what we're going to try to do is a slight curve because this is not just flat. This is on, we're trying to create a 3D uh, uh, illusion here, all right? So I'm going to go click on the top here and pull this one down a little bit. Here's those handles, okay? So don't do a lot, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on the top. We'll do a little bit more on the bottom. Tiny, tiny bit, that's it. The bottom now has to kind of match this curve on the bottom. So let's pull this down a little bit. Pull this down a little bit. See that? And you can also do this, which of course, why would you? You're distorting it. But just to let you know, these are those handles, and that's how they work. So, and you can also pull, pull it one in and pull one in the other way. So you can do that too. If So I'm looking at this. I'm looking at how this uh, type is, uh, gets curved a little bit. I'm wondering if this really needs to be that far. I'm actually going to push it up a little bit. It's almost straight across, but not quite. This looks good. I'm going to go here and click and deselect. I'm going to make this smaller now. And you're done. Now, if you want to, these are highlights, here's a highlight, here's a highlight, okay? If you want to, you can stop right here. If you are new to Photoshop, just stop right here, do a save. Uh, actually, what you could do is, these are layers. You could go here to the hamburger and just do flatten image. Just flatten it off, okay? I'm gonna do a little bit more work, but so I'm going to uh, take the uh, lock off for you. But right now, just send it in. Save it as save it as a Photoshop. Where is PDF? Here it is, right here. Do it as a Photoshop PDF. Okay? I'm going to do something a little bit more to it. But for those of you new to Photoshop, just do this right now. Do save it as a PDF, send it to, into Canvas for the grade. Okay, I'm going to do a cancel here because I want to work a little bit more. I want to lighten this just a little bit to follow, okay, this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the Dodge tool, not the burn. The burn will darken. If you want a shadow, do burn. I'm going to Dodge, which is going to make it lighter. So this is it right here. Do you see that? Um, on the keyboard, you have brackets left and right. I'm going to press the right bracket, and it makes it larger. Okay? Smaller. Left, right, larger. Okay? Now I'm going to do this up and down. I'm going to make it just a little bit lighter. I have my exposure for shadows. I'm going to do highlights okay well see that's too strong command z let's go up to exposure and do about 30 uh 20 yeah 30 percent let's try that see how that brightens it let's do this side on this particular label because of the colors you really can't see a lot of the brightening um, so it's kind of a waste on this particular um, label uh, you may have a label where it shows a much better highlight than this okay so you're done this label is done uh, I'm going to now do uh, save as 
I'm going to do Photoshop PDF. I'm going to do Save. And I'm going to choose the latest, which is 9 over 10. That's it. Leave everything else there. Those are defaults. And then do Save a PDF. I've saved that to my desktop. And that's what I'm going to save, uh, send in. So again, there you go. Pretty, uh, pretty simple. Skip this part the dodge tool if you are having problems with it okay just because it, it actually didn't really work very well on here look it just kind of messed up the type um, I probably uh, wouldn't do it next time all right that's it